Charlettas over here. Oh my God, for the past week or longer straight, she's been trying to lay her eggs or something. Charletta, honey, every day and night. I think that's Charlotte. Yeah, that's Charlotta. Every day of night, Charlotta. You were over there one night, then you're over there, and then you're over there, then you're over there. How many damn egg holes are you gonna make, Charlotta? Charlotta! So this is my UV clarifier one year later. And I'm so dumb. I kept well, I kept forgetting with this little piece of shit thing for that 250 gallon pool I think it's more than that 260 something but that's probably less than 250 gallons because of the warping but that little bitty thing is rated for like 40 gallons see that's just a little bitty one that's a big one but that's a piece of shit well they're all pieces of shit I'll never buy these types again but um um, my UV clarifier, I was, I just kind of opened it up, opened it up just to make sure it didn't get all gunked up with algae, but it's, you can see, see how that's flowing smoothly? Well, it kept being restricted and I keep forgetting that, you know, it's once a week that I need to change those, or not change them, but to wash the filters out. Not once a month. I mean, I remember I used to do when the, this bigger one when they were working you know i just change them like once a month or clean them out once a month you know but with this little thing i got to do it every seven days you know rinse out the filters and then it keeps my pond so clean and uh you know it keeps it running smoothly and not all restricted you know just barely trickling out but i don't know why i kept thinking it was the tubes but I got the tubes real clean and I made sure there wasn't gunk in there and that's nothing that you have to clean out that doesn't get gunked up because I checked it's been a year now that I've been using my UV clarifier the bulb still works fine that's about bigger than my foot and it's pretty easy to hook up once you get the hanger but and see the the lights on and see how clean it keeps it um this year the only thing is on the bottom for some reason it's getting a, like a really hardcore green stain but there's it's so weird because big old clumps of algae used to build on the bottom at least the past several years even when i was still using that you know, it'll still kind of form on the bottom and then you just scoop it out. But this year, it's just leaving, like I'm getting no clumps. Well, a little bit, but barely. I'm really getting no clumps of algae. It's just staining it. It's just like, like somebody just took some paint and painted the bottom green. It's so weird. That's why I got to keep scrubbing it so the water st still looks clean. You know what I mean? Because if that gets too dark, you know, on the bottom, then it makes the whole water look dirty, even though it's still clean all the way from the top to, you know, to the bottom. See how I can clearly, if you didn't have that thing running, all this black or this green, dark black algae is going to form. And then you won't even be able to see your turtles. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that thing. But I learned all this on my own and from videos and from comments on Amazon like somebody was like, oh, you need a UV clarifier when I was talking about some kind of uh, filter or, or whatever that I was looking at or whatever. They're like, you need a UV clarifier. And I'm like, what's that? And it, like I said, once you get the hang of it, it's really not hard, you know, to, to hook up. But um, yeah, like it might look dirty over there. But it's not dirty. It's just the bottom is... St no, no, that may be a little bit of loose, loose algae on the bottom. And I can always scoop that up or whatever. But see, it's... It, it didn't do this the past few years. This dark film that you can't get off without this thing. You can't even hardly get it off with that thing. It's so weird. See, I can clearly see my turtles. 
because it keeps the water so clean. See, do that. I gotta do this. And then the water will start looking even clearer because the bottom's, um, you know, um, clean or whatever. But the whole water is clean. It's just, like I say, I don't know why this film, it didn't do this the past couple years. Or the past, no, it, it hasn't done this any time that I've owned, I mean, that I've owned turtles. It hasn't never done this. Got a film like that, a hardcore film at the bottom. But there's 50 million thousands of types of algae. And see, when that starts being restricted, then that's when I notice I start getting all this algae on top and stuff. But see how it's flowing smoothly and it'll flow smoothly for about a week. So every Monday, I'm gonna have to come out here and clean the pads. It doesn't take that long at all. What you guys doing? What you guys think about your pond? Frederica, Frederica. Yeah, baby, I can't keep you much longer. Hi, sweetie. See, she acts all tame when she's in the water. But she is anything but tame. These little rascals are tame. Frederica is not tame. I just took her inside because I was going to do a video. And she went absolutely berserk. Hey, guys, I'm not going to feed you guys tonight, okay, babies? Oh, I got to get you guys some more greens, don't I? Some more lettuce and stuff. 